Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. A somber mood tonight hangs over the Syracuse University campus. It was about this time yesterday. 18-year-old Trevor Pierce was killed after colliding with a campus trolley. He was riding a skateboard at the intersection of Waverly and Comstock Avenues. That's a spot on campus where students pass through all the time. Tonight, News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan says it's become a memorial to the first-year student from New Hampshire. Syracuse sophomore Brian Millard adds a candle to the flowers already set down on the sidewalk. My thoughts are immediately with his parents. Um, to have that happen to any child is a terrible thing, especially when you send them away to college. I mean, they didn't send their son away to college expecting him to not come back to them. Just three months into Trevor Pierce's college career, Miller didn't know him, but having lost a friend in high school, he knows the pain his classmates feel. So I just came here to give a moment of my silence, and then some other people came by, and I, they started talking, and it turns out they were uh, friends of Trevor. So I just, you know, told them that, you know, he mattered and that he's an important person to not just them, but to everybody here at the school. Seemingly uninterrupted, trolleys similar to the one that collided with Pierce on his skateboard 24 hours ago ran throughout the day. Police haven't determined if he hit the trolley or if the trolley hit him. I just asked the people take their time, come out today, and pay some part of their life out and give it to Trevor. You know, this kid was a kid at the end of the day. He has a family and friends just like we all do, so I hope people take that into account. Syracuse Police, which is leading the investigation, tells me it's too early to know if tickets will be issued. The driver of the trolley was not injured. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And in an email to campus, the SU Dean reminds students, faculty, and staff that the university has numerous resources set up for counseling and support.